Yes, sir. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Millionaire Mansion Podcast. My name is James Hodge Green. I'm the owner of the Millionaire Mac Club, and we believe millionaire is not defined by monetary status, but by your mindset. And we are here helping raise consciousness and maximizing limitless potential in order to make this world a better place, man. But as always, I'm hoping y'all are doing well. I'm sending y'all gratitude for tuning in. And as always, the best way to support the the brand, support the podcast is like, share, subscribe if you're on YouTube. And if you're on podcast, give us a five-star rating and share. Just share, 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 share. If you find any of this information valuable, just share it. That will be greatly appreciated. Um, So today, today... I wanted to talk about creating your own luck because oftentimes we'll we'll call people we'll we'll we all have that lucky friend uh we all have that lucky friend but I was thinking the other day I was like are they actually more lucky than the rest of us or are they just putting themselves in prime position and a great position to get an attainable great result that everybody else may have wanted or that they wanted for themselves. And so if we think about it, let, let's bring up the dictionary. Let's bring up the dictionary. What is the definition of luck? What's the definition of luck? Hold on. I'm, I'm bringing it up right now. Luck. What is luck? The force that seems to operate for good or ill in a person's life, as in shaping circumstances, events, or opportunity. Oh, there's another definition. A combination of circumstances, events, etc. operating by chance to bring good or ill to a person's life. So think about it. It's saying circumstances circumstances that bring you good so luck isn't something mystical that happens luck is you aligning yourself with good things what you define as good things that's you aligning yourself to to allow yourself to attract abundance attract good things attract positive experiences so literally think about it you can you can create your own look create your own luck by asking for you want asking for what you want oftentimes we'll we'll be waiting for something good to happen but we won't be the aggressor because we will even either think we're we're non-deserving or we think it's greedy or not our place to ask worst comes to worst whoever we're asking says no or we just don't have what we already didn't have you see what i'm saying so you need to ask yourself, are you putting yourself in a prime position to endure and experience luck? Because all luck is, is being in the correct place at the correct time. And the things that are supposed to happen to you will happen to you. So if you think about that in terms of a workspace or in terms of school or in terms of starting your company if you're not in an environment that is going to provide you possibilities to win or succeed you're not unlucky you're just unconscious of what your space can bring you because oftentimes we'll overlook our environment and wonder why we're not succeeding but we're not putting ourselves in the correct environment around the correct people for great things to happen to us for abundance to come to us so ask the question all right what does luck in my situation look like boom you find that answer then ask yourself am i in a position where something lucky can happen to me right and by you asking those questions you'll figure out if you're in the right environment for yourself to put yourself in prime position to win, put yourself in prime position to win because 
I want you to I want you to really realize what I'm saying. Put yourself. It's not it's not an exterior force that puts you in position to win. No. You need to create your own luck. You need to put yourself in the position where you can succeed and then let everything else take its course. Right? Because all you can control is you. You can't you can't control anything exterior. All you can do is influence those things. You can't control them though, right? So if you put yourself in a great position to win, then you'll start seeing a lot more lucky things happening to you. And as you start enduring in more of those lucky things, you'll realize that they're not truly luck. And you'll realize that that was all generated and created co-created by you and whatever source god higher power you believe in because like i said in other podcasts the universe god whoever your higher power higher power person is is going to match your effort is going to match your energy right so if they see you putting yourself or attempting to put yourself in a better position then you're going to start seeing more resources presented to you in order for you to succeed, whatever that definition of success is for you. And the thing is, you have to be on the constant lookout for these resources and not attach to what you think you need, but accept what is given to you. Because we'll be thinking, oh, I need this, this, and this. But as soon as this, this, and this doesn't look exactly like what we're expecting, we'll think, oh, this isn't supposed to happen for me. But no, you're not reading between the lines. You're not looking past your expectations and not not intaking the resources that are truly around you, maximizing the resources that are around you, the abundance that you're already in. And you, you need to lay it, You need to level up your consciousness of your surroundings. By doing that, you'll you'll notice that you have everything that you need right there within you, right there around you to improve your situation. And you may not necessarily have the direct thing that you need to get from level one to level 50, but you have what you need to get from level one to level two. Because oftentimes we'll, we'll think luck is just automatically progressing us from level one to level 50. No, there's some unseen things that are being moved around that we may have consciously or unconsciously created for ourselves. So we might as well consciously create them for ourselves. So then the next thing you need to ask yourself, am I taking the right actions? No, first ask yourself, what actions should I be taking to in order to see the success that I want to see? And once you ask that, then you'll realize, all right, what actions am I taking? So now you have the two comparisons of what actions you need to be taking, what actions are you taking, and now what actions am I going to take? How am I going to progress, put myself in position to endure in luck, which isn't truly luck, right? So then the next thing, are you around winners? Are you around the people that you need to be? in order for the good things that you want to happen to you to happen to you. Not saying that the people around you are bad, but let's say I want to be a musician, but I'm hanging around only athletes. Yeah, those athletes may have status and may be able to put me in position to succeed in the industry that I want to succeed in. But ultimately, I'm not putting myself in the highest probability to get plugged or get put on or put together with the aligning source that I need. And by source, I mean the aligning, say I want to sign with a record, a record label. If I'm around all musicians, then they're bound to know more musicians than a group of athletes by probability and by assumption, right? So ask yourself, are you around winners? And the people that you may be around may be winners, but are they winning at when you, what you want to win at? Ask yourself that. 
Ask yourself that. Create your own luck. It's not, it's not some exterior force. It's all within you. Put yourself in great position. Do everything you know you should be doing in order to generate success and then see the luck come in, right? But yeah, man. I, I'm wishing abundance upon you. I'm wishing abundance upon you. No doubt about it. Just keep keep striving for something greater. Keep striving for something greater. Keep striving to maximize your potential. Keep asking questions. Keep asking questions. Keep raising your curiosity. And uh, just if you need a positive friend, if you need somebody to talk to, I want you to text me. Text me to my community number 480 five seven one seven three four seven the number will be in the description make sure you tap in with me uh and let's be friends i want to help you progress i want to help you progress and if you want to help me progress just share 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 this podcast with anybody that you think would find it interesting anybody that may not even find it interesting maybe maybe they will you know what i'm saying but as always, I love and appreciate y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely grateful to be in the position that I'm in. And let's keep progressing. And like my grandma said, man, keep going. Keep growing. I love y'all.